Hi, my name is Marta Flores. Today we're gonna paint with oil paints. These are the new kind that you use water base. They're water soluble. You don't have to use turpentine or any other toxic spirits that we used to use. These are the primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, and you can create just about every color in the rainbow from these three. Of course, you're gonna need white and black. So these are the oil paints we're gonna to use today. For a palette, I'm gonna use a paper plate. So I'm gonna pour some paint in here, or I should say I'm gonna dub a little dab of yellow, a little dab of blue, and a little dab of red. I'm gonna use a lot of white, because usually white is the one that we use the most. We mix all our light colors with white, okay? so. Here we have brushes, palette. This is a little knife. It's a really good knife to mix your palette. Fine brush, small fan, which makes beautiful trees, flat, good for sky and big areas, and one that's a little pointy and it's uh, a little um, good for flowers and trees. I make with that one. Okay, so here's my water, so I need water for my brush. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a canvas right here. We're gonna do a very simple sketch of a landscape. Usually I do a landscape, and I have one right here in front of me, a beautiful view from our home. And we divide the sky from the land. This is the earth, that's the sky. And then I have a little vanishing point. This is called your horizontal your horizon line. And then the point here is gonna be either a road or a river. So very lightly I'm doing that. And then here I'm gonna do some mountains and I'm gonna do different shapes so they're not all conical. Okay, so there it is. I'm gonna have a tree here. Uh, I'm gonna have rocks on this side. And remember, things become smaller as they go far away into the distance. So if I do more trees, they're going to be tiny going that way. Okay, so here's my palette and here's my paint. So we're going to start painting. I'm going to start with a tiny little bit of blue, That's a lot of blue and a lot of white to do the sky. Okay, and I'm going to use my fat, flat brush to do the sky, because the sky is gonna be the biggest area in this painting, okay? So I can do different strokes. This one is one kind that you can go like that, or you can just go like if you're painting a wall, just go flat. Usually for my first coat, I just go flat. Later on, I might make clouds, and uh, this, fun br this flat brush also makes really good shapes for clouds. So here is, I'm gonna make this into a river. So I'm gonna make it blue like the sky. It's a reflection of the sky. So my water is gonna be also blue, okay? So there it goes. Maybe later on I will add a little more greenish to my river here, okay. So my mountains are gonna be brown. So I have uh, another plate here which I'm gonna put some brown and some um, amber and a little darker brown. I'm gonna use my uh, pointy brush, this one, water, and the same thing, I mix these two. I can use my knife for mixing and also for painting. This is a knife and I can actually paint with it. And this gives a beautiful texture. And maybe I'll do my mountains with the knife like that. Remember mountains give a shadow around here. So I'm gonna make this light and then I'm gonna make this area dark. Okay, so here is. And so forth and so on. I'm gonna do a tree very quickly because our video cannot be too long Okay, so I'm making the tree trunks just kind of like that. And, uh, and then I'm gonna take some green and use my fan brush for a green. And the green, I can actually mix yellow and blue. Little bit there, see the green, how beautiful it comes out. 
So here is my tree. Okay, even a little brown in it is good. And now with the fall, maybe a little red. So we can do all of that. Okay, and the, the river will also have some green touches in there. It's also the best thing to do is to paint your background first. Like let's say this is gonna be a grassy field, so I'm gonna do it all first before I put anything on top. So, and then once I have all my blue and greens and make it look like grass, I can start doing some rocks or even the trees. See, it's very hard to, to paint like between the trees. The beauty of oils is that it takes a while to dry. So you have enough time to mix. Acrylics, watercolors, they dry very quickly. So you don't have much of a time to do mixing, but with um, oils, we do. And that is really the beauty of painting with oils, okay? So here is the beginning of a landscape. It's not finished yet, but this is how you can start. Always start with the background color first. And then on top of the background, I'm gonna put some rocks in here with my brown or with my knife. So here are my rocks. Okay. My canvas is a little. Maybe use some black or gray to make them look more like rocks. Okay, and finish up the mountains. And remember, do the background first and then put the things on top. Okay, so like if I wanna put more trees or pine trees there by the mountains, I could do that very simply with uh, my little fine brush that I have here. This is my little fine, fine brush. Make some uh, pine trees. They're very dark, dark green. And as they go away into the distance, they become tiny and just little, maybe little sticks of color. Okay, thank you so much.